New project sites in iBats can also be created by uploading your own spatial files. To upload sites, click the Project tab, followed by New Project and Upload. A range of different file formats are supported, including Esri shapefiles, KMZ files, KML files, and CSV files. These can contain single or multiple sites within them, which will all be extracted and added as separate projects in iBAT. For each file type, there are some mandatory requirements and attributes that are necessary to successfully import your file. These are specified for each file alongside downloadable example files, which demonstrate how to meet the requirements for each file format. For the Esri shapefile, this will need to be uploaded in WGS84 projection and compressed into a zip file, including four file extensions. These are the SHP file extension, which contains the feature geometry itself, the SHX extension or shape index format, the PRJ projection description, and the DBF attribute format. These four file extensions should be present in any shape files exported from GIS softwares. A number of other commonly included files will also be accepted. These are listed as optional files, but are not necessary for the upload in iBAT. KMZ files used in Google Earth are compressed files, which should include a KML file within them. Additional optional image files are also accepted, but are again not necessary for the upload in iBAT to be successful. It is also very straightforward to upload the KML files themselves straight into iBAT. Our CSV file uploader requires the attributes of site name, as well as latitude and longitude in decimal degrees. Once you are happy that your files meet the requirements, the process is quick and simple. Select Choose File, and then navigate to your file location. After choosing the file, you will see the file name appear in the upload box. The maximum file size is specified at the point of upload, but please be aware that for larger files, or those with more complex geometries, this may take some time. Once you select Upload, you will be greeted with a progress bar showing your file being imported into iBAT. Shortly afterwards, a message confirming the upload has been successful should appear alongside the number of different iBAT projects that have been identified in your spatial file. At this point, you will be asked to confirm whether you would like to complete the upload or cancel the process. Alternatively, if your file has not uploaded successfully, a message stating Upload Error will appear in the box. It will specify the particular issue with the upload and how to resolve the issue with your file. After the file has been uploaded, you can return to the IVAT dashboard where your spatial file will have been stored as a site in the Projects tab. Reports and GIS downloads can then be generated from each project as normal.